Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to la leçon du jour, so your French lesson of the day. And today we will see l'alphabet, so a really useful one. So let's start now. A. Répétez, repeat. A. B. Repeat. B. C. Repeat. C. D. Repeat. D. E. Repeat. E. F. Repeat. F. G. Repeat. G. H. Repeat. H. I. Repeat. I. J. Repeat. J. K. Repeat. K. L. Repeat. L. M. Repeat. M. N. Repeat. N. O. Repeat. O. P. Repeat. P. Q. Repeat. Q. R. Repeat. R. S. Repeat. S. T. Repeat. T. U. Repeat. U. V. Repeat. V. W. Repeat. W. X. Repeat. X. Y. Repeat. Y. Z. Repeat. Z. Okay, I hope it was clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch it one more time if it's not. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone. So today, la leçon du jour will present you les voyelles. Uh, so get ready. It's a long one, but interesting one. So, on y va. A. Repeat. A. E. Repeat. E. I. Repeat. I. O. Repeat. O. U. Repeat. U. I. Repeat. I. Okay, so in this case, of course, the letter is Y. All right, but then the sound is I. Okay. So, now, let's see how they react when we combine them with an uh, E, okay? So, in this case, you will get the sound E, so open, E, okay, repeat, same sound, sound, E, repeat, E, okay, here, nothing, of course, Wa, repeat, Wa, Ui, Repeat. Oui. Nothing, of course. Then, if we combine them with U, we get the sound O. Repeat. O. Okay. And then E. Repeat. E. Of course, nothing there. U. Repeat. U. Nothing and nothing. So let's skip to the next category. If you combine them with N, you will get this en. Okay, so it's actually quite important that everything is going in your nose. <laughs> okay, so you get only one sound and it's en. Okay, repeat en. Mm -hmm. And then same sound here, 
that's the reason why they will have the same color after you will see and it's en same thing repeat en okay and then you get the sound un repeat un okay here you will have this un un okay and then you will get this uh, so it's actually the same as uh, previously with en. Okay, same sound. Uh, all right, and then uh, same sound as en and un. Okay, so for these three ones, the sound is uh. Okay. Next category. So e plus voyelle plus n. Okay. So in this case is uh, what the Voyelle is still in capital letter, but of course it should be uh, shouldn't be like that. It's just to show you that it's there. So it's yan, yan. So this e in front give you the y y y sound. Okay, so you get this yan, yan. Repeat, yan. Okay, and then you get this yan, yan. Repeat, yan. Okay nothing there and then yon yon repeat yon okay that's it all right i do hope it was useful for you don't be afraid to watch it again and again have a nice day bye bye bonjour à tous uh, et bienvenue pour la leçon du jour so welcome and uh, we'll see today uh, les articles définis so they're quite useful and let's see how they go. So, as usual, uh, in French, we've got the difference between masculine, feminine, and then the plural form. Okay, so we will start with the masculine form. So, le is masculine, la is feminine, le is plural. So, first, the masculine. Okay, so le or then, we will see that in some cases, usually when uh, words are starting with a voyeur or then h or H plus uh, une voyelle in this case you should but then be careful it's not all the time in most of the cases you should put L apostrophe alright so let's have some examples now okay so le jour repeat le jour okay and then le père repeat le père okay and then for the last example I choose on purpose uh, a word starting with the H okay and then you get l'homme repeat l'homme okay so feminine form it's la as we saw previously and then same concept you know in some cases when the words are starting with a voyelle or then h plus une voyelle as we say in french you will have to put this form l apostrophe okay so let's have a look la vie repeat la vie okay and then la france repeat la france okay and uh, well an example of a word starting with a voyelle so it's ami and then you get l'ami repeat l'ami okay so pluriel as we say in french and as you can see it's uh, les all right so let's see how it goes so usually if you've got a, a voyel right after you will have to do this uh, liaison all right so the small link between the two two words so it goes like zzz, all right so you get this les idées repeat les idées okay and then next word les personnes repeat les personnes okay and last one les hôpitaux 
Repeat. Les hôpitaux. Okay. So let's hope everything is clear now. Masculin, le. Féminin, la. Pluriel, les. Okay. All right. So, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone. So, uh, let's start now with uh, la leçon du jour and then we will see les articles indéfinis. So, quite useful. Uh, les articles indéfinis. So, we've got the masculine form. It's un. Feminine form. It's une. And then plural form. It's des. Okay. So, let's start with the, the masculine one. All right. Uh, masculine is un. And then you get un chien. Repeat. Un chien. Okay. And then un ami. Okay. So you can see that we make a small link between un and ami. Okay. So no break between the two words and let's get, uh, let's, <laughs> let's go for it. So it's un ami. Repeat. Okay. Same thing uh, for the last example. Un homme. Repeat. Un homme. Okay. So now, feminine form, it's une. Okay. And we get these examples. Une voiture. Repeat. Une voiture. Okay. And then, une adresse. So it's a little bit the same thing. You, you, you see there is no real break between the, 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 the two words. It's une adresse. Like if it was only one word. Une adresse, okay? Une adresse. Repeat. Une adresse. Okay? And then, une femme. Repeat. Une femme. Okay? And for the plural form, it's des. Okay? And then, First example, you will have to make this liaison as well, the small link between the words, so it's des enfants. Repeat. Des enfants. Okay, so final T and final S is not pronounced. One more time. Des enfants. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. Des idées. Repeat. Des idées. Okay, so final E uh, and final S is, uh, are not pronounced as well. Des idées. Okay, repeat one. One more time. Okay, and then the last one it's des nationalités. Repeat. Des nationalités. Okay, so just remember that les articles indéfinis are masculin 1, féminin une pluriel des. So let's hope everything is clear now. Uh, if you're not sure, well, <laughs> watch it again. All right, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la, la leçon du jour. So hi everyone and welcome. Today we will see les chiffres. So les chiffres from one to nine. So let's uh, let's start right now. You should know them by heart, okay? So we will focus on that and on the pronunciation. So, un, repeat, un, okay? It's quite tricky this one because it's uh, nasal, so it's coming in your nose, okay? nose, okay? So it's un, repeat, okay? So now, deux, okay? Final X is not pronounced. Okay, de. Repeat. Okay, and then comes trois. Okay, so remember that O plus I gives you this wa 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 sound. Okay, and then the final S is not pronounced. So you get this trois. Repeat. Trois. Okay. Um, Q plus U gives you the sound K, K. Okay, so in this word you, you get the sound quatre, quatre. Repeat. Quatre. Okay. And then cinq. Okay, so E plus N 
you get the sound 1, 1, 1, ok, so you get this 5, repeat, 5, ok, and then 6, so it's actually quite strange because it's ending with this X, but then the sound, the final sound is S, so you get this SIS. Repeat. SIS. Okay. And then SET. Okay, so the P between E uh and T is not pronounced, so you get this SET. Repeat. SET. Okay, and here you've got this huit, huit. Okay, so you pronounce the final t, but then h, so the first letter is not pronounced. So you you've got this first sound is u plus i, and it gives you this hui, hui. All right, so you get this huit. Repeat, huit. Okay, and last but not least you get neuf. Repeat. Neuf. Okay, so you pronounce the final F. Okay, and then E plus U gives you this E. Neuf. Neuf. Repeat. Okay, so don't be afraid to watch it again and again. If you want to be sure, you should know them by heart. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye. So, today's lesson is les nombres de 11 à 19. So, I hope I will have your full concentration on these numbers because they are quite important. So, let's start. 11, 11, repeat. 11, 12, repeat. 12 13 Repeat 13 14 Repeat 14 15 Repeat 15 16 Repeat 16 17 Repeat 17 18 Repeat 18 19 Repeat. 19. All right. So I guess that now we're done. So keep in mind that 17, 18, and 19 are the more logical ones. And after that, you've got to remember them quite uh, good for this 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. We will use them for this. Uh, 70, you know, 70, and then, and then for this uh, 90, so 90. So they are actually quite important. All right, so that's it for today. Bye bye. Welcome everyone, and uh, today, la leçon du jour uh, is concentrating on the uh, les dizaines. So let's uh, let's hope it will be clear for you. So I'm not really sure if we will have fun with this uh, subject, but at least I will try to. Uh, explain you how to pronounce them correctly and after that it will be uh, easier for you and uh, I'm expecting you to pronounce them like me okay so let's let's start now and then we can start with a dis okay so keep in mind that even if you're ending the word with a x then it's it sounds like s okay so it's dis okay repeat mm -hmm. okay and next come uh, vin okay so uh, final and then the G is coming before are not pronounced so the, the, the sound is vin. repeat vin. ok and then we get this trente 
All right. So keep in mind that final e uh, is not uh, pronounced. It only gives you the possibility to be or to pronounce the the, the t coming before. So it's trente. Repeat. Trente. Okay. And then we've got this quarante. Uh, okay. So same concept as as uh, previously with this final e. Uh, it only gives you the possibility to pronounce the uh, t, and then uh, we've got uh, q and u at the beginning of the, this uh, word. And keep in mind that these two letters combined only gives you the possibility to pronounce k k k k. All right, so you get this k, and after that, quarante. Repeat, quarante. Okay, cinquante. Repeat. Cinquante. Okay. Keep in mind that Q and U, it's the same thing. So it's quant. Okay. Cinquante. Repeat. Cinquante. Okay. And then comes uh, soixante. Okay. So same thing as uh, we had for uh, this. So this uh, X is pronounced like S. Okay. Soixante. Repeat. Soixante. Okay. Don't be afraid to pronounce wa 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 wa. Okay. Soi soixante. Okay. And then soixante dix. All right. So it's a bit tricky in French, especially I mean French spoken in in uh, in France because elsewhere they manage to find other ways and more logical ones. But we've got this soixante dix in France. Okay. Repeat. Soixante-dix. Okay? And then comes quatre-vingt. Alright, so final S, T, and G are not pronounced. Okay, and then remember that Q and U give you the, the sound que, que so you get quatre-vingt. Repeat. Alright, and last but not least, quatre-vingt-dix. Okay? So try to pronounce it like a whole word without uh, making any any breaks, you know. Quatre-vingt-dix. Okay. Repeat. Quatre-vingt-dix. All right. So I do hope that everything is clear now. Try to well, probably repeat them and remember and maybe write them and pronounce them. And if it if you're not sure, well, watch the video again and again. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. Ok, so today we will see les pronoms personnels sujets. Uh, if you don't know them yet, I'm just hoping that you will well, know them by heart after this lesson. Ok, so it's not that difficult, so let's start with the first person. And the first person is je. Repeat. Je. Second person is tu. Repeat. Tu. Okay. And then third person, we've got the masculine form, it's il. Repeat. Il. Okay. And the feminine form, it's elle. Repeat. Elle. Okay. And then first person of the plural, it's nous. Repeat. Nous. Okay, so you've got this final S, but you don't pronounce it, okay? Nous. Mm -hmm. And then comes vous. Repeat. Vous. Okay. And then, well, masculine and feminine form. Masculine form, it's il. Okay, same pronunciation as for the singular. Il. And then feminine, elle. Repeat. Elle. Okay, so je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. Let's hope everything is clear for you now. If it's not, watch it again and again. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour, bonjour. Uh, hi everyone. So today, la leçon du jour will present you les pronoms personnels toniques. So for the first person, we've got 
moi. Okay, repeat. Moi. Okay, so keep in mind that this uh, O-E sound is wa 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 wa. Okay, so if you combine it with M, you get moi, moi. Repeat. Okay. Second person is toi. Okay, same concept. So wa 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 combined with T, and then you get this toi, toi. Okay, repeat. Parfait. Uh, third person. So we've got the, as usual, difference between the masculine form and the feminine form. So masculine form, it's lui. Okay. So U plus I gives you this lui, lui, lui. Okay. So you get this lui. All right. And then for the feminine form, it's quite easy because it's the same as uh, les pronoms personnels sujet. It's elle. Okay. So feminine form. L. Repeat. L. All right. And then you've got nous. All right. So keep in mind that final S is not pronounced. All right. So you get this nous. Repeat. Nous. Okay. And then vous. Same thing. Final S is not pronounced. So vous. Okay. And finally. Same thing, difference between the masculine form and the feminine form, but then the masculine is different, the feminine is the same as uh, les pronoms personnels sujet. So, masculine form is E, alright, final X is not pronounced, E, repeat, E, okay, and then feminine form L, final S is not pronounced, L, repeat, L, okay. So, moi, toi, lui, elle, nous, vous, eux, elle. Okay. Just hope everything is clear for today. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Uh, hello everyone. So, la leçon du jour for uh, today is le, le verbe être, a quite useful one. Uh, so, let's start now. So, first form for je, it's je suis. So, you can notice that the final S is not pronounced. Je suis. Repeat. Je suis. Okay. And then comes tu. Tu es. Alright. So, you can notice that it's uh, open a a. So, don't be afraid to open your mouth. <laughs> you must be on your own now, so you can shout a. Okay. Tu a. Repeat. Tu a. Okay. And then for il, masculine, il a. So it's quite strange uh, because it does sound the same as tu. Okay. But then there is this final t, but you don't pronounce it. So il a. Repeat. Okay. And the form for l, l a. Repeat. Okay, L E. Mm -hmm. Then for nous, you get nous sommes. Okay, final S is not pronounced. Nous sommes. Repeat. Nous sommes. The form for vous, vous êtes. So this is the first, just to notice the sound, and after that you should do the liaison, so this small link between the S and the E, so you get vous êtes. Repeat. Vous êtes. Okay, final S, not pronounced. And then, il and L, so il, masculine. Ils sont. Alright, repeat. Ils sont. Okay. And then the feminine form, elles sont. Repeat. Elles sont. Okay, one important thing regarding this uh, il and elle, so the last one we just saw, uh, keep in mind that the verb avoir, to have, uh, have the, the, this uh, liaison, and so the sound for avoir is ils ont, elles ont. 
Okay, but then for être, it's ils sont, elles sont. So actually, this uh, first sound, I mean, the, this s, is the the, the only way to uh, dissociate uh, être from avoir uh, for il and elle. Okay, so don't be afraid to pronounce this s uh, quite strongly. Okay, so let's do it again. Ils sont. Repeat. Elles sont. Repeat. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone and welcome to la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe avoir, a quite useful one. So avoir means to have. So let's start with the pronunciation. First form for je is j'ai. Repeat. J'ai. Second form for tu, it's tu as. Repeat. Tu as. Okay. Third form, il and elle, so masculine. Il a. Repeat. Il a. Feminine form, elle. Elle a. Repeat. Elle a. Then come the form for nous. Nous avons. So you can notice that there is a small link be between this S and A. That's what we call the, la liaison. So you get to put this small link. So it's like zzz, nous avons. Repeat. Nous avons. And then for vous, same thing, vous avez. Repeat. Vous avez. Okay. And last but not least, il, masculine form, ils ont. Same thing, small link, la liaison. Ils ont. Repeat. Ils ont. Okay. And then feminine form, elle. Same thing. Elles ont. Repeat. Elles ont. Okay. Just before leaving you, actually keep in mind that uh, this liaison, this link, is actually quite soft. It not, it's not really strong. And uh, it's especially important for this uh, last part, ils ont and elles ont, because if you make it stronger and too strong, it would sound like ils sont. And in this case, be careful because it's the verb être to be okay so keep in mind that it's really light and it's like zzz, ils ont elles ont okay repeat one last time for the pleasure ils ont repeat okay and elles ont repeat okay thank you very much have a nice day bye bye bonjour à tous so in this uh lesson we will focus on uh, le verbe aller so a quite important verb actually because we can use it quite easily because aller means to go and then we use aller as well for the future proche that we will see a bit later okay so let's start now je vais repeat je vais Tu vas. Repeat. Tu vas. Il va. Elle va. Repeat. Il va. Elle va. Nous allons. So you can notice the liaison between S and A. Nous allons. Repeat. Nous allons. Vous allez. So the same thing, the liaison between S and A. Vous allez. Repeat. Vous allez. Ils vont. Elles vont. Repeat. 
Ils vont. Elles vont. Ok, so I do hope everything is clear now. As I said all the time, don't be afraid to watch the video again and again to be sure that you know these verbs by heart. Ok, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous et bienvenue pour la leçon du jour. So today we will see les adjectifs de nationalité. Uh, well, the idea is to show you uh, how these, uh, these adjectives uh, change from the masculine form to the feminine form. So, let's start now. First group is masculine form un, feminine form n. Okay, so repeat. Masculine un, feminine n. Okay, so let's have some examples. Cubain, repeat. Cuban. Okay, so you can see these small icons next to N. Uh, it's a speaker, loudspeaker, so the idea is that it indicates you that uh, the sound is changing. Okay, so second category now, it's E, and then feminine form, ES. Okay, so repeat masculine, E, and then the feminine, ES. Okay, so let's have an example. Portugais, repeat. Portugaise, repeat. Okay. And then, en, so a, n, d, finally is not pronounced, so it's en, and feminine form is and. Okay, so you can see that the final e in the feminine form only gives you the possibility to pronounce the D, okay? Odd. Alright, so let's have an example. Allemand. Repeat. Allemand. Repeat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we've got wa. So O E S, final S is not pronounced. Wa. Was. Okay. Chinois. Repeat. Mm -hmm. Chinoise. Repeat. Okay. And now we've got yen. Okay, so remember that the first e gives you the sound y y y. Okay, and then you've got yen yen. Masculine form. Repeat yen. Okay. Feminine form, it's yen, yen, okay? Remember, when you've got, like here, uh, double N, uh, then you've got the sound E, E, before uh, of the E, uh, okay? So you get this yen, yen, okay? So, let's have some example. Italien, repeat. Italien, repeat. Okay. Et un. Repeat. Et un. Okay. Feminine form. En. En. It's quite difficult because we've got this a, and then right after we've got this a. Okay. So take the time to practice this. En. Okay. So let's have an example now. It's. Korean, Korean, okay, repeat, Korean, mm -hmm. and then the final, uh, final, sorry, feminine form is Korean, repeat, Korean, okay, and then we get un, repeat, un, okay, and the feminine is in in okay so example is argentin argentin repeat mm -hmm. feminine form argentine argentine all right and then we've got the category so you can see the the icon is changing now uh, in which the masculine form and the feminine form can be written differently. 
but then they are pronounced the same way okay so in this case you've got the masculine form it's ol it's ol and then the feminine form even if you put the final e uh, it's ol as well okay so let's see espanol masculine form repeat and then the feminine form is espanol okay the same way repeat all right and then we've got the k, okay, <laughs> so final c, <laughs> quite difficult to pronounce like that without anything before, but anyway, it's k, okay, and then feminine form is as well k, okay, so let's take an example, it would be easier to, to show you how to pronounce it, okay, so we, you, we do have <laughs> grec, okay, so it's ending with a k, 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 grec, okay, and feminine form is the same, it's grec, okay. And then, uh, well, actually, you can see e uh, and e. Uh, so, what does it mean? It does mean that uh, at the masculine and the feminine form, uh, these adjectives are, are written the same way. Okay, so of course they they are pronounced uh, the same way as well. So you get Swiss masculine form and then Swiss feminine form. Okay, so same way of writing and then same pronunciation as well. Okay, so now it's your turn. Swiss, repeat. All right. Okay. So don't be afraid to watch it again and again. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone. Uh, bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. So today we will uh, try to focus and discover les adjectifs démonstratifs. Uh, well, actually they're not that difficult. It's just like in in English. Uh, they use this, this and these. So, uh, as usual in French, uh, we will have the difference between uh, the masculine form, the feminine form, and the plural form. So, let's discover them now. Okay, so regarding the masculine form, you will have actually two forms. The first one is se, and the second one is set. Okay, so repeat, se, and then set. All right? Feminine form, set. Okay, so repeat. Set. All right. So you can see that uh, actually, even if you write them differently, uh, the feminine form set and then the other, the second option for the masculine form set, are pronounced the same way. Okay, so it's set. And then finally, the plural form it's se. All right, so it's this uh, it's open, it's a, eh, a. Eh, okay, so don't be afraid to open your mouth, and it's pronounced like se. Okay, so repeat. Se. All right, so let's see now some uh, examples. So masculine. First example, ce chien est beau. Okay, so basic example, no problem in this sentence. Second example set ordinateur est cher so actually in this sentence you can see the reason why there are two forms for uh, the masculine so in this case as you can see ordinateur is starting with o so boil in this case you will have to put this form the second form of the masculine so it's set all right so you pronounce it like set ordinateur est cher okay so actually no pose no break between the, the, the set and ordinateur all right so let's repeat it together set ordinateur est cher okay and then last example set hotel est réputé okay so it's the same thing keep in mind that even if uh, hotel is starting with h h is actually not pronounced so the first sound of the of the word is uh, o so it does mean that it's a voyal and in this case you will have to use set as well okay so you pronounce it like set hotel est réputé so now it's your turn to repeat set hotel est réputé okay so let's see the feminine form and it's actually a piece of cake because it's quite easy uh, first example cette femme est française repeat cette femme est française okay 
And then the second example. Cette voiture est bleue. Repeat. Cette voiture est bleue. Okay. And then pluriel. Ces enfants sont gentils. So it's actually open. It's c'est. Okay. And in the first example, in this sentence, you will have to make this small link, la liaison between c'est and enfant. All right. Ces enfants sont gentils. Repeat. Ces enfants sont gentils. Okay. And then the second example. Ces livres sont intéressants. Okay. And in this case as well, you can hear this small link between sont and intéressant. Sont. Sont un. Okay. So let's repeat it together. Ces livres sont intéressants. Repeat. Ces livres sont intéressants. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope it was clear. Don't be afraid to watch this video again and again. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone. Bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will see a quite important topic. It's les adjectifs ordinaux. So it's a uh, well, maybe a bit long, but it's necessary to know them and uh, master them. So we will see uh, les adjectifs ordinaux right now. So we will use les adjectifs ordinaux pour indiquer un ordre, so an order, and then une chronologie, so events that uh, takes place one after another. Okay. So let's start with the well, the masculine form, because as usual, you know, we've got the masculine form, the feminine form, and the plural form. So yeah, let's start with the masculine now. Uh, so, le premier, all right, so, le premier, repeat, okay, le deuxième, repeat, le deuxième, okay, so you can see that I'm pronouncing actually the word written in the orange box. What you see in the green box is the way you can write it if you don't want to write the, the whole thing. Okay. Le troisième. Repeat. Le troisième. Okay. Le quatrième. Repeat. Le quatrième. All right. Le Cinquième. Repeat. Le cinquième. OK. Le sixième. Repeat. Le sixième. So actually what's quite funny with it is that uh, this X in the middle, or maybe not in the middle, but actually in the sixième word, is pronounced like s, -s, -s. OK, so it's not X really. OK, so you pronounce it like so you get this sixième, z, sixième. Repeat. Okay. And then le septième, le septième. Keep in mind that you don't pronounce this p. Okay. Septième. All right. Le huitième. Repeat. Le huitième. Okay. As usual, the first h is not pronounced. And then, last but not least, le neuvième. Repeat, le neuvième. Okay, be careful because this EU in uh, neuvième is actually open. It's not E, but it's E. Uh. Okay, so it's neuvième. Repeat, le neuvième. Okay. So, let's see now the feminine form of these. And now we've got LA Première. Repeat. La première. Okay, so don't be afraid to insist a little bit. E, E, première. Okay, and pronounce it quite correctly because if we don't, I mean, if you don't, then I will uh, understand the premier. Okay, so that's the only only way to make the difference between the masculine and the, and the feminine. So, la première. Okay, repeat. La Première, okay, and then la deuxième. Repeat la deuxième, okay, la troisième. Repeat la troisième, okay, la quatrième. Repeat 
la quatrième, la cinquième, repeat, la cinquième, la sixième, repeat, la sixième, la septième, repeat, la septième, la huitième, repeat, la huitième, la neuvième, repeat, la neuvième, ok? And then let's end with the plural form now of these adjectives, so we've got les premiers, repeat, les premiers, ok? Les deuxièmes, repeat, les deuxièmes. Les troisièmes, repeat, les troisièmes, les quatrièmes, repeat, les quatrièmes, les cinquièmes, repeat, les cinquièmes, les sixièmes, repeat, les sixièmes. Les septièmes, repeat, les septièmes. Les huitièmes, repeat, les huitièmes. Les neuvièmes, repeat, les neuvièmes. Let's hope everything is clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. If it's not, have a nice day and uh, hope to... See you soon. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous euh, et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. Hi everyone. So today we will uh, try to focus on the, les adjectifs possessifs. So uh, actually it's the first part because I'm planning to release a second lesson for this one. So in, in this lesson I will uh, basically introduce les adjectifs possessifs. And in the second lesson, as they can be quite tricky, uh, in some situations, I will focus on the, the, the use of uh, les adjectifs possessifs. Okay, so for now, let's uh, discover them together. So, a masculine form for the first person, it's mon. Repeat, mon. Okay, and then comes ton. Repeat, ton. Okay, and then third person, son. Repeat, son, okay, and then notre, repeat, notre, okay, and then votre, repeat, votre, okay, and then leur, repeat, leur, all right, so we've got mon, Ton, son, so keep in mind that everything is it in your nose. <laughs> and then notre, open this, this O is not that, uh, that closed, okay, it's quite open. Notre, votre, and then leur, this E, U is E, leur, okay. Feminine form now, ma, repeat, ma, okay, and then ta, repeat. Ta, okay, and then sa, repeat, sa, okay, and then notre, so you can see that it's the same form as uh, the masculine form, repeat, notre, okay, votre, same form, repeat, votre, and then leur, same form as well, leur. Repeat. Okay. Pluriel. So you've got mais. Repeat. Mais. So you can see that you don't pronounce the final s. Okay, but it this combination a s gives you the the sound e. Okay. Mais. Repeat. Okay. Te. Okay. So same sound. This open e. Okay, don't be afraid to open your mouth. Te, alright, repeat. Mm -hmm. 
say, same thing, repeat, say, okay, and then no, <coughs> oh my god, in this case, actually, this uh, O is quite close, and it, uh, it goes uh, a bit lower, it's no, okay, repeat, all right, and then vo, repeat, vo, okay, and finally, leur, repeat, leur, so actually you can see that uh, there, I mean, this final leur is pronounced the same way as the feminine and masculine form, even if we put this uh, final s, okay, we don't pronounce it, we will pronounce it if right after the word is starting with a a vowel. In this case, we'll make this liaison. Okay, but usually, if it's just like that, we don't pronounce it. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Let's repeat it together now. Masculine, mon, ton, son, notre, votre, leur. Okay, and then the feminine form, ma, ta, sa. Notre, votre, leur. Okay, and finally, mais, tes, c'est, nos, vos, leur. Okay, so I do hope that everything is clear and don't be afraid to watch it again and again. Have a nice day, and I will get a glass of water now. Okay, bye bye. Bonjour tout le monde, c'est la leçon du jour, so today we will uh, see uh, le verbe faire, so faire means to do, and it's a quite useful verb, and also a bit tricky, you will see why, so now we can start. So first form for je, it's je fais, okay, so final s is not pronounced, je fais, repeat, je fais, okay. Second form, tu fais. So same form, same pronunciation, the final S is not pronounced. Tu fais. Repeat. Tu fais. Okay? And then comes il masculine and elle feminine. So il fait. Same pronunciation, so final T is not pronounced. Il fait. Repeat. Il fait. Okay, and then feminine form, elle fait. So same thing, final T is not pronounced. Elle fait, repeat. Elle fait. Okay, then comes nous. Nous faisons. So here it's quite tricky because actually we write it RE, faisons, but then we pronounce it faisons. Okay, and then final S is not pronounced, so nous faisons. Repeat. Nous faisons. Okay, so here come the strange form. Uh, logically, we could put this vous faisiez, but then no, it's vous faites. Okay, keep in mind that final S is not pronounced. Vous faites. Okay, repeat. Vous Fait. All right, and then fin finally, so il masculine and l feminine, uh, il font. Okay, so you get this uh, nasal o n on. Okay, and then the final t is not pronounced, so il font. Repeat. Okay, and then feminine form, l font. Same thing, o n and then final T is not pronounced, okay? Elles font. Repeat. Elles font. Okay, so that's it for today. Don't be afraid to watch it again and again to be sure that you know and you master the verb faire. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. So welcome in the French lesson of the day and today we'll see le verbe pouvoir. So a quite useful verb because it does mean to can. So let's see how it goes now. So for the first person, je, it's je peux. Repeat, je peux. So actually you don't pronounce the final X. 
second person tu, tu peux. So you can see that it's exactly the same way of writing it and exactly the same of pronouncing it. You don't pronounce the final X. So it's je, tu, peux. Okay, so let's see how il goes. Il peut. Alright, so same way of pronunciation. You've got uh, T at the end, but then you don't pronounce it. Il peut. Okay. Elle, feminine form, third person of the singular, and it's the same way. Elle peut. Repeat. Elle peut. Okay, so let's see how it goes for the plural, and then be careful because for nous it's changing a little bit. Nous pouvons. Okay, so you write this O U and you pronounce it OU. Okay, so if you combine it, you nous pouvons. Okay, you don't pronounce the final S. Nous pouvons. Repeat. Nous pouvons. Okay, so for vous, it's a little bit the same. It's vous pouvez. Okay, so you keep this P O U V, but then you put the ending for vous. The classical ending is a Z. Okay, you combine it. Vous pouvez. Repeat. Vous pouvez. Okay, for il au pluriel, then you get il peuvent. Repeat. Il peuvent. Okay, so as usual, you've got this E N T at the end, but then you don't pronounce it. You only pronounce il peuvent. Okay, and well, last but not least, L, and it's actually the same form as it was for il, L, pev. So the same rule, final E and T is not pronounced, so you get L, pev. Okay, so let's see again how it goes. Repeat, je peux, tu peux, il peut, elle peut. Nous pouvons, vous pouvez, ils peuvent, elles peuvent. Okay, I hope it was clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch the video again and again. Have a nice day. Au revoir, bye bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone. And welcome to la leçon du jour. So how about uh, learning a useful verb today? So the verb is prendre. And prendre means to take. Okay, so let's start and have a look at the forms. So the first person of the singular, je, it's je prends. Repeat. Je prends. Okay, so you can see that we've got uh, S at the end and then D as well, but then we don't pronounce them. So actually the only thing we will pronounce for this form is P-R-E-N and it's the sound prend. Okay, repeat. Okay. And for tu, so it's tu prends. Repeat. Tu prends. And you can notice it's it's actually the same same form as for uh, for je. Okay, so final s and then the d before you don't pronounce them. Okay. Il and elle, so masculine il, we get il prend. Okay, so same pronunciation. Final d is not pronounced, so it's only the p r e n prend. Okay. Repeat. Il prend. Okay, and then elle prend. Repeat, elle prend. Okay, so just you can notice that je, tu, il, and elle are just pronounced the same way. Je prends, tu prends, il prend, elle prend. Okay, but uh, remember to put the final s for je and tu. All right, so let's have a look now with the nous first person of the plural. It's nous prenons. Okay, and keep in mind that E is pronounced like E, pr, pr, okay, nous prenons, repeat, nous prenons, yeah, that's it. Second person, it's vous, and then we get vous prenez, repeat, vous prenez, okay, so actually for nous and vous, we've got the classical endings, okay, so for nous, usually it's O, N, S, and then for vous, it's usually a Z, okay, so nothing really special for this form, okay, and then finally, il and l are the plural form, so il prenn, repeat, il prenn, okay, so you can notice that the first e of prenn is pronounced like e, e, and the reason for that is that you, you've got a double 
n after that so it changes the pronunciation of the uh okay so that's the reason why you've got il prenne repeat il prenne okay and keep in mind that as usual for this third person of the plural this ent uh, the final one is not pronounced okay so for l we've got l prenne repeat l prenne okay so let's see one more time je prends repeat tu prends il prend elle prend nous prenons vous prenez ils prennent elles prennent all right so let's hope everything is clear if it's not clear then you know how it works just watch a video again and again okay have a nice day bye bye hi everybody bonjour à tous and uh, welcome to uh, your french lesson of the day la leçon du jour so today i thought that we could uh, actually see these adverbs de manière because they are quite useful and not that difficult to uh, learn so let's start with the construction okay la formation so actually if you want to build a an adverb you've got to first use the adjective okay the adjective and add the masculine form okay so I took this uh, adjective lent which is slow okay so the masculine form it's lent l e n t okay so right after that we'll see the feminine form of this adjective so usually you've got to add uh, a at the end okay so we get lente all right and then the technique for the construction or formation of this adverb is that after the feminine form so of the adjective you just put this Mon, m e n t at the end and so the result we got is lentement repeat lentement okay and then well usually in france we don't really pronounce this e uh, between t and m so we get this pronunciation lentement repeat lentement okay so let's see with other adjectives and adverbs so let's take do okay so you will just repeat after me do so it's the masculine form okay do repeat okay and then we'll get the the adjective the feminine form it's douce repeat douce okay and then the adverb doucement repeat doucement okay so it's the same thing we don't really pronounce the uh, between c and m okay and then premier repeat premier okay première repeat première okay premièrement repeat premièrement all right so now certain okay so we get the sound a i n it's un un okay certain repeat okay feminine form it's certain n n certain repeat okay and then adverb it's certainement repeat certainement okay so let's see the next one it's actually easy <laughs> facile is easy and in this case it's quite easy because the as you can see the masculine form and the feminine form are the same so it's masculine facile repeat feminine form is facile repeat okay and then you get facilement okay next one is a bit more difficult but not that much so masculine form is franc so you don't pronounce the final c okay franc repeat okay feminine form is franche okay so i insist a little bit on the sh at the end but it's that's the just the idea you know to 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 show you how you should pronounce it okay but then it it should be pronounced like franche repeat franche okay and then franchement repeat franchement okay net repeat net okay and it's quite interesting because the the feminine form is written in a different way but it's pronounced 
the same way, so it's net. Repeat. Net. Okay? And then the adverb gives you the pronunciation netmo. Repeat. Netmo. Okay? And then we've got vif. Repeat. Vif. Okay? Feminine form is vive. Repeat. Vive. Okay? And then the adverb is vivement. Repeat. Vivement. Okay? Be careful because, as usual in France, you know, I mean French, uh, French language, we've got some uh, exceptions. So let's take a look at a few exceptions. And uh, one of them is uh, prudent. Okay, but more generally, um, let's say adjectives that ends with a, a nt. Okay, so you will get for the adverb it's prudemment. Okay, and the strange thing is that you will write e m m e n t for the adverb, but then you pronounce as if there was a a. Okay, it's prudemment. Okay, prudemment. All right. So let's pronounce together. First, we'll pronounce the adjective. Okay. So it's prudent. Repeat. Prudent. Okay. And then the adverb now is prudemment. Repeat. Prudemment. Okay. So let's see now the second group of strange adverbs. <laughs> so uh, well, uh, they're looking a bit the 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 same way, but it's a n t. Okay. Pronounced the same way. It's courant. Repeat, courant, okay, and it will transform in into couramment. Repeat, couramment, okay. So actually the same pronunciation, but then you've got to write this a uh, for this case, okay. So let's have a look now at the first uh, group of uh, exceptions. So it's évident. Repeat, évident, okay, and it does give you this évidemment pronunciation okay évidemment évidemment repeat évidemment okay second example for this category is violent repeat violent and it does give us this adverb violemment okay so same concept you pronounce it like if there was a violemment repeat violemment okay Fréquent, fréquent, repeat, and then we get fréquemment, repeat, fréquemment, okay, patient, repeat, patient, and then we have patiemment, repeat, patiemment, okay, récent, repeat, Récent, okay, and it does give us this récemment for the adverb. Repeat, récemment, okay. Inconscient, repeat, inconscient, adverb, inconsciemment, repeat, inconsciemment, okay. So now it was the, the second group of exceptions. So it was this RNT exception. And then the yeah, example we've got here is méchant. Repeat, méchant. Okay? And it does give us for the adverb méchamment. Repeat, méchamment. Okay? Courant. Repeat, courant. And the adverb is couramment. Repeat, couramment. Okay, and then suffisant, repeat, suffisant, adverb is suffisamment, repeat, suffisamment, okay, constant, repeat, constant, adverb constamment, repeat, constamment, okay, bruyant, repeat, Bruyant, okay. Bruyamment, repeat. Bruyamment. All right. Let's hope it's clear for you. It was a pleasure for me uh, to be with you during these few minutes. So don't be afraid to watch the video again and again if it's not clear. And uh, well, 
we'll keep in touch. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will see together les comparatifs. So if you want to compare, actually first part or first situation is if you want to use a name, un nom. Okay, so in this case you will get j'ai plus de chance que vous. Repeat, j'ai plus de chance que vous. Okay, so you get to use this plus and then preposition de and a little bit after que. Okay, j'ai plus de chance que vous. Okay, second situation, j'ai autant de chance que vous. Okay, so let's pronounce it normally now. J'ai autant de chance que vous. Repeat, j'ai autant de chance que vous. Okay, and then the last one, it's j'ai moins de chance que vous. Repeat, j'ai moins de chance que vous. Okay, so keep in keep in mind that if you're using a name and if you want to compare it, so it's plus de, autant de, moins de, and then after that, don't forget to put this que. Okay, second situation, if you want to use an adjective, an adjective, so first example, it's je suis plus patient que toi. Repeat, je suis plus patient que toi. Okay, so in this case, we only use this plus. Then the adjective, and after that you put the que. Okay. Second situation. Je suis aussi patient que toi. Repeat. Je suis aussi patient que toi. Okay. So we'll actually try to pronounce this sentence, and we will make this liaison. Je suis aussi patient que toi. So you can see that between suis and aussi, we've got this liaison, suis aussi, okay? So let's repeat it together. Je suis aussi patient que toi. Repeat. Je suis aussi patient que toi, okay? And the last one, it's je suis moins patient que toi. Repeat. Je suis moins patient que toi. Okay, so keep in mind that if you're using an adjective, you've got to use plus, aussi, moins, and then you get to use que, okay? And then the last categories if you're using a verb, so avec un verbe, first possibility, je parle plus que lui, repeat, je parle plus que lui, okay? Je parle autant que lui, repeat, je parle autant que lui, Okay. Je parle moins que lui. Repeat. Je parle moins que lui. Okay. So let's see again together with a verb. Plus que, autant que, and then moins que. All right. So I do hope everything is clear. Don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. Have a nice day and hope to see you here. You meet you soon. Bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will see les indicateurs de temps. So quite useful, so let's start now. Uh, so aujourd'hui is today, so if you want to express something that will or that did or that does happen today, you've got these possibilities. So the first one is ce matin, this morning. Okay, repeat, ce matin, ce matin. Okay, if it's in the afternoon, so it's cet après-midi. Repeat, cet après-midi. Okay, if it's in the evening, so it will be ce soir. Repeat, ce soir. Okay, if it's during the night, so it will be cette nuit. Repeat, cette nuit. Okay, so if it was yesterday, yesterday is hier. Repeat, hier. Okay, so it's quite funny because actually it does start with a H, but then in French we don't pronounce H, so we've got the sound hier, hier, repeat, hier, okay, so hier matin, repeat, hier matin, okay, hier après-midi, repeat, hier après-midi, hier soir, repeat, hier soir, la nuit dernière, Repeat, la nuit dernière. Okay, and so if it's for tomorrow, tomorrow is demain, 
repeat demain okay so it's ending with this r e n keep in mind that we do pronounce it like un un okay so it's demain demain repeat demain okay so demain matin repeat demain matin okay and after that demain après-midi repeat demain après-midi okay demain soir repeat demain soir okay and then finally la nuit prochaine repeat la nuit prochaine okay so for the pronunciation it's prochaine it's open it's a okay prochaine so la nuit prochaine repeat all right so let's hope everything is clear for you don't be afraid to watch the video again and again so uh, and let's keep in touch okay bye bye Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to your French lesson of the day. Bienvenue dans la leçon du jour and today we will try to see what we call les liaisons. So let's see how it goes. So the idea of the les liaisons is that if you get a simple sentence like this one, il adore le café. Okay? So you could pronounce it like that, so each word separately like il adore le café but then actually usually french people tend to make this link like you see here so between ils il and adore ah so the reason for that is that adore you can see that it's starting with a vowel and in this case it's possible to make this small link between the s and the a so actually liaison means link so if you want to link the words in this case you will get ils adorent le café so you can see the the difference between the first one which was il adore le café and the second one which is ils adorent le café okay so let's see now six examples so the first one let's pronounce it like uh, if we didn't make the liaison first okay so ils ont trois enfants Okay, and then if we make the liaison, then you can see that it's possible to make actually two liaisons in this sentence. The first one between il and on, and the second one between trois and enfant. Okay, so we get ils ont trois enfants. Repeat. Ils ont trois enfants. Okay. Second sentence. Nous allons chez elle. Okay, so same thing. Let's see how it goes if we put some liaison. Same thing here. It's possible to do two liaisons. So the first one between nous and allons. So you get nous allons. And then the second one between chez and elle. And you get chez elle. Okay, so let's read the whole sentence now together. Nous allons chez elle. Repeat. Nous allons chez elle. Okay. Third example. Quelle heure est il? Okay. And then let's see how it goes with the liaison. So it's actually quite easy to figure because you get this trait d'union between est and il. So actually we'll have to pronounce est-il? Est-il? Okay. So the whole sentence sounds like quelle heure est-il? All right, and then, as it's a question, it would be better to raise your voice at the end of the sentence, so it would sound like, Quelle heure est-il? Repeat. Quelle heure est-il? Okay. Next example. Il est neuf heures. Okay, and so with the liaison, so you can see that the liaison is coming between neuf and er and actually it's quite tricky in this case because uh, we will change the sound so we won't pronounce the f but it would sound a bit more like v like a v okay so if you make the liaison it would sound like il est neuf heures neuf heures okay repeat il est neuf heures okay next example c'est une grande famille. Okay, 
So let's see how it goes now. So you can see this liaison between se and une. Okay, so the liaison would sound like t, t. Okay, so you would get this c'est une, c'est une. Okay, and so the whole sentence c'est une grande famille. Repeat, c'est une grande famille. Okay, and last but not least, elle peut quand elle veut. Okay, so let's see where the liaison goes and it goes between quand and elle. Okay, and here the D would be pronounced a bit more like a T. Okay, quand elle, quand elle. All right, so we get elle peut quand elle veut. Repeat, elle peut quand elle veut. Okay, so all these examples, let's repeat them together. The first one, ils ont trois enfants. Repeat, ils ont trois enfants. Second one, nous allons chez elle. Repeat, nous allons chez elle. Numéro trois, quelle heure est-il? Repeat, quelle heure est-il? Okay. Numéro 4. Il est 9 heures. Il est 9 heures. Repeat. Il est 9 heures. OK. Numéro 5. C'est une grande famille. Repeat. C'est une grande famille. OK. Numéro 6. Elle peut quand elle veut. Repeat. Elle peut quand elle veut. OK. I do hope it was clear for you. Bye bye and see you soon. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will focus on a, a tricky thing but a quite a useful one. So les prépositions avec les villes et les pays. So which uh, preposition you should use when you introduce towns or uh, countries. So let's start with a, a town. If you want to introduce a town pour une ville, then you will have to use uh, the preposition a okay and then just put the the town all right so let's take an example a paris a helsinki okay so it's actually quite simple all right for the countries it's uh, a bit more difficult because as in uh, general in french language we've got the difference between uh, masculine feminine and plural so it does mean and maybe it sounds a bit strange for uh, some uh, students but we do have some feminine countries, masculine countries and plural countries. Okay, so let's try to see how it's possible to uh, see the gender of a country and so the best way to see that is uh, to spot the, the final letter. Okay, in this case France is ending with a E uh, as you can see and it's in, in red um, and it does mean that uh, well this country is feminine all right so the preposition you will have to use with this country will be en okay repeat en okay after that let's take a, an example with the canada okay so what you can see that it's ending with a but actually the most important thing is that it's not ending with a uh, as uh, with france okay so it does mean that uh, this country is uh, masculine and the preposition you will have to use is O. Okay, so you write it A U, but then you pronounce it O. Repeat O. Okay, and then last category like uh, Etats-Unis. Uh, well, this category is uh, plural, and then it does mean that the preposition you will have to use is O. Okay, so even if it's ending with a X, you don't pronounce it. Okay, it's O. All right, so let's see how they work. So, pour un pays féminin, so as we saw, you will have to use la préposition en, okay, and then add the country right after. So let's have some example. En France, repeat. En Finlande, repeat. Okay. Masculine countries, so as we saw previously, uh, preposition O and then the country. Okay, so let's take examples like 
au Japon, repeat, au Japon, ok, and then au Luxembourg, repeat, au Luxembourg, ok, all right, and last category, so as we saw these uh, plural countries, and so it's au so R U X, but you don't pronounce the X like that. And then the name of the country. Okay, so let's have some examples. So uh, in the first example, uh, as I said, X is not pronounced like that. But then, if you get a country like États-Unis, okay, uh, then it's starting with the sound of a vocal, a uh, vowel, sorry. And then it does mean that you will have to uh, put this small link between O and Etats-Unis, okay, this liaison, so you get aux Etats-Unis, repeat, aux Etats-Unis, okay, and if you listen carefully, you can see that when I pronounce Etats-Unis, it's the same, okay, there is this liaison between this final S of ETA and then this U, okay, aux Etats-Unis, repeat, aux Etats-Unis, okay, and for the second one, it's actually more simple because you get O Peiba. Okay, so no link, uh, no liaison between the words, so it's O Peiba. Repeat. O Peiba. Okay, I hope it's clear. And uh, don't be afraid to watch it again and again. Have a nice day. Okay, bye bye. Bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will treat or we will see the difference between uh, qu'est-ce que, que and quoi. Okay, because some students asked me that a few days ago and I wanted to release a little module regarding this topic. So let's try to see together what is the difference of use between them. Uh, so usually we use this qu'est-ce que, que or quoi when we want to ask an, uh, an explanation regarding something. So the most polite form you know, if we can say that, is uh, the use of que, okay? The second uh, form is qu'est-ce que, so the, well, basic form that we usually use when we speak, okay? And then the third form is uh, the use of quoi, okay? Which is considered as uh, familier, as we say in French, okay? So first example, if you want to ask uh, what a person is uh, doing, uh, you can ask the first question, which is the, the more polite one. The more polite one, it's uh, que faites-vous? Repeat. Que faites-vous? Okay, don't be afraid to raise your, your voice a little bit at the end, okay? Que faites-vous? Repeat. Okay. Qu'est-ce que vous faites? Repeat. Qu'est-ce que vous faites? Okay. And then the third one, vous faites quoi? Repeat. Vous faites quoi? Okay. Second example, it's uh, guess. Repeat, guess. The common one is uh, guess que c'est. Repeat, guess que c'est. Okay. And the third one is c'est quoi. Repeat, c'est quoi. Okay. So actually, it's all a question of. Uh, uh, situations. You've got to know exactly uh, when you should use the, use the polite form or the normal form or the more, the more uh, uh, spoken form. Uh, it does depend on the, on the situation. But then all these forms are actually correct. Okay? So have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. Hi everyone. So today uh, we will see les verbes en ER au présent. So, uh, Les verbes en ER, uh, it's actually the first group of verbs. So uh, I did choose an example, a uh, quite regular one and quite easy one. It's parler. Parler is to speak. Okay. So the important thing is to, well, spot the ending, to find the ending. And in this case, you've got ER. So it does mean that it does belong to the first group of verb. Uh, and they are regular. So it's actually quite easy. You will see that. So when... You have been uh, spotting this uh, ER ending, then the idea is to take it away. So you will get this P-A-R-L, and after that we will combine this first part with the second part, so the endings. So that we will see, that's what we will see right now. So for the first person, the ending for JE, it's E, okay? And so for our example, for the verb parler, then you will get je parle. Okay, repeat. 
je parle. Ok? For the second person, then the ending is ES, as you can see there. And then you will get tu parles. Repeat. Tu parles. Okay, so you can see that uh, actually the first form, je parle and tu parles, even if there is a small difference in the writing because you've got this final S for tu, uh, it is the same pronunciation, so it's je parle and tu parles. Okay, so third person, you will get the ending is E, okay, so it's the same ending as for je, okay, and so you'll get il parle and Elle parle. Repeat. Il parle. Elle parle. Okay. So actually, what you can see is that uh, uh, what you pronounce um, for the first person, second person, and third person, it's actually the same form. It's je parle, tu parles, il parle, elle parle. Okay. So it's actually not that difficult. So let's see now for nous. And for new, you will get this ending O N S, okay. And if you combine that with the, our verb, you will get nous parlons. Repeat. Nous parlons. Okay. So keep in mind that final S is not pronounced. Okay. So it's only this O N, the sound on at the end of this verb. Okay. So nous parlons. Okay. And so for vous, you will get the ending EZ, okay, and uh, it's pronounced E, okay, so you, you should pronounce E, E, alright, so you'll get vous parlez, repeat, vous parlez, okay, and finally for il, elle, third person of the plural, uh, ending is E, N, T, all right, but then you will see that it's actually quite easy because you pronounce them il parle, elle parle. Okay, so you don't pronounce this n t, so phonetically you get the same form as for je, tu, and il, elle of the singular. Okay, so it il parle and elle parle. Repeat il parle, elle parle. All right. So, the idea is that for je, tu, il, elle, and then il, elle, it's the same form you pronounce, it's parle. For nous, you will get parlons, and then for vous, you will get parler, okay? But then, of course, the tricky thing is to remember how to write them. So, keep in mind that the endings for je is, or the ending for je is e, uh, for tu, it's es, for il, elle, it's E, nous, O, N, S, vous, E, Z, il, elle, at the plural form, E, N, T. Okay, that's it for today. Have a nice day. Don't be afraid to watch it again and again. Bye bye. Hi everyone and uh, welcome uh, for la leçon du jour, your French lesson of the day. Today we will uh, see les verbes réguliers en IR au présent. Okay, so uh, as you probably know in French we've got uh, three group of verbs and uh, les verbes réguliers en IR, so the ending with IR, are the second group. So be careful because it doesn't mean that even if a verb is ending with a ER, it does belong to this group because we've got some other verbs ending with ER who belong to the third group, so irregular verbs. Okay, but then in this case uh, I decided to choose uh, finir, okay, so important thing is that you, well, we just put the, the, the ending ER, okay, and it gives you, as I said, some useful information, whether it's uh, for the second group or third group, okay? So in this case, ER is regular, so it does belong to the second group of verbs. And so you just take this ending away, and the idea is that you will get this FEN. So that's the first part, and you will combine it with the endings that we will see right now uh, to get the form. So for the first person of the singular, so JE, the ending is ES. So for our example with the finir, so you combine the first part that we get FEN and then you add it 
uh, or then you add this ending so ES and you will get the form je fini repeat je fini okay so you see that this verb is ending with a s but then you don't pronounce it all right so it's je fini okay second form for tu okay it's uh, es just the same okay so you get just the same pronunciation but it's tu fini okay repeat tu fini okay third person for il and l so still at the singular you get it okay and so pronunciation is still the same and it's il fini repeat il fini okay and then l fini repeat l fini okay so you can see that for je tu il and l it's actually the same form you pronounce but then you write them differently for je it's es tu es il l i t okay so let's see how it goes for nous okay so as you can see for nous the ending is ison okay e s s o n s all right so you get the form nous finissons repeat nous finissons all right for vous you get is E S S A Z, okay. So you can see that the ending, the last two letters, so a Z are pronounced like E, okay. I C, all right. And you get the the form, vous finissez. Repeat, vous finissez, okay. And last but not least, uh, for il and l, at the plural plural form, you get is, okay. E S S uh, and t, okay and as usual for the verbs you know this uh, and t is not really pronounced it only gives you the pronunciation of the s okay so you get for the verb you will get il finis repeat il finis okay and then l finis repeat l finis okay be careful because it is a, a quite common mistake for this uh, uh, third person of the pool that the, the students pronounce finissant okay because they spot this uh, a n and so they think that they, they should pronounce uh, it but then uh, keep in mind that yeah each time for the third person of the pool for these verbs so the uh, er verbs of the second group and it's the same for the the first group you don't pronounce them so it's finis okay all right so let's see the endings again for je it's es for tu it's es for il it's it l it nous i s s o n s vous i s s e z il i s s e n t and l i s s e n t and then finally before leaving you just how do we pronounce them so for je it's i for tu it's i for il and elle it's i for nous it's i sont for vous it's i c and then for il and elle it's is okay all right so I do hope it's, it was clear for you <laughs> uh, have a nice day and uh, don't be afraid to watch it again okay bye bye Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour, so your French lesson of the day. And so today we'll see les verbes en dre au présent, but be aware that, uh, of course, as usual in French, we've got many exceptions, so they don't include all the dre verbes. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, let's have a look at, uh, well, répondre is one a good example for this uh, category of verbs. So, the idea is that you've got to spot, of course, the ending. In this case, the ending, of course, is DRE. All right. And so, you will have after that to only, uh, well, take away the DRE. And so, you'll get this RÉPON. Okay. RE accent aigu, PON. And after that, you will combine this first part with the endings that we'll see right now so first person ending is ds and so you'll get the form je réponds repeat je réponds 
All right, so the funny thing is that you've got to write this DS, but of course, as usual in French, you don't pronounce it, okay? So it's répond, repeat. Okay. Second form is tu, and then you can see that it's DS as well, so it's the same form, it's tu répond. Repeat, tu répond. So same thing, you don't pronounce DS at the end. Il and L, so masculine form and feminine form. Il, you've got D, okay, and you will get this form. Il répond, repeat, il répond, all right. So it's actually the same form that you did pronounce for je and tu, and then for L it's the same thing, it's elle répond, repeat, elle répond, okay. So je, tu, il and L phonetically I mean they're the same same form and it's répond okay so let's see how nous goes now and then the ending for nous it's d-o-n-s so it's don okay and then you will get this form répondons so it's nous répondons repeat nous répondons so as usual final s is not pronounced okay so the only thing that is pronounced at the end it's this o-n and it's on on okay répondons Repeat, nous répondons, okay? For vous, you've got the ending D, E, Z, so you pronounce that D, okay? Keep in mind that combination between E and Z at the, f at the end of the uh, verb is E, is pronounced like E, okay? So you get this, vous répondez, repeat, vous répondez, okay? And then finally, for il and elle, so masculine form, it's D E N T feminine form is the same D E N T okay but then let's pronounce them il répond repeat il répond okay so it's actually a common mistake that uh, usually students tend to pronounce this E N T so they want to pronounce it like en okay but then keep in mind that uh, for verbs we don't pronounce them so E N T is actually not pronounced it's only répond dead Okay, at the end it's the sound of the D. Okay, il répond. Repeat, il répond. Okay, and then elle répond. Repeat, elle répond. Okay, so let's see that together one more time. Je réponds, tu réponds, il répond, elle répond, nous répondons, vous répondez, ils répondent, elles répondent. Okay, and so if we only focus with the endings for je, it's ds, for tu, ds, il, d, elle, d, nous, d, o, n, s, vous, d, e, z, il, d, e, n, t, elle, d, e, n, t. I truly hope everything is clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch it again. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour pour la, la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe s'appeler. So s'appeler is quite important because, uh, well that's the verb you're using when you want to introduce the name of someone and it's uh, quite useful and quite tricky in a way because it does belong to this uh, family of, of verbs that we call les verbes pronominaux or then uh, les verbes réfléchis. Um, so we'll see how, how it does work. Uh, you will see now let's go okay so first form for je it's je m'appelle okay so that's the particularity of these verbs so you've got to add something and usually for the first form it's me but then as you've got this voyal you know for the verb appeler e uh, disappears and you get this je m'appelle repeat Okay, second form, uh, well, same thing, okay, but then usually for tu, the form is tu, te, and then something in here. We're starting with vo voyal, so uh, it's the same thing as previously, e uh, disappears, so we, we get this tu t'appelles, okay, final s is not pronounced, tu t'appelles, repeat. Okay, and then come il and l, so masculine form il, so usually for il or for l, 
third person of the singular, you get this s, okay, s a, but then, as previously, we are starting with a vowel a, so a disappears, and you get this il s'appelle. Repeat. Il s'appelle, okay, and then the feminine form, elle s'appelle. Repeat. Elle s'appelle, okay, and then for new, so some of the students and some of my students find it quite strange, but then that's the that's the form for these uh, verbal pronomino. You've got to repeat uh, nous again, so you get this nous nous, and then appelons, okay. Keep in mind and try to remember that for this form, uh, you've got only one l. You know, if you compare it to je, tu, il, elle, you can see that for nous, you know, this uh, l, there is only one, okay? So, let's pronounce it together and just put some liaison. Nous nous appelons. Repeat. Nous nous appelons. Okay, so you can notice that the pronunciation is a bit different for the verb. It's appelons. Okay, because there is only one l there. Nous nous appelons. So repeat. Okay. All right. So next, it's a bit the same concept uh, actually. So you get to repeat vous again, and then you get this vous vous appelez. Okay. Same thing. Only one l. Vous vous appelez. Okay. Repeat. All right. And finally, so il pluriel. Uh, masculine form and elle, uh, you get uh, this il s'appelle, alright, so that's the same concept, usually you should have se, but then I starting with a vowel, so uh, is disappearing, and you get this il s'appelle, repeat. Bonjour à tous, uh, hello everyone, so la leçon du jour for uh, today is le, le verbe être, quite useful one, uh, so let's start now. So, first form for je, it's je suis. So, you can notice that the final S is not pronounced. Je suis. Repeat. Je suis. Okay. And then comes tu. Tu es. Alright. So, you can notice that it's uh, open a a. So, don't be afraid to open your mouth. <laughs> you must be on your own now, so you can shout a. Okay. Tu a. Repeat. Tu a. Okay. And then for il masculine, il a. So it's quite strange uh, because it does sound the same as tu. Okay. But then there is this final t, but you don't pronounce it. So il a. Repeat. Okay. And the form for l, l a. Repeat. Okay, L E. Mm -hmm. Then for nous, you've got nous sommes. Okay, final S is not pronounced. Nous sommes. Repeat. Nous sommes. The form for vous, vous êtes. So this is the first, just to notice the sound, and after that you should do the liaison, so this small link between the S and the E, so you get vous êtes. Repeat. Vous êtes. Okay, final S, not pronounced. And then, il and L, so il, masculine. Ils sont. Alright, repeat. Ils sont. Okay. And then the feminine form, elles sont. Repeat. Elles sont. Okay, one important thing regarding this uh, il and elle, so the last one we just saw, uh, keep in mind that the verb avoir, to have, uh, have the, the, this uh, liaison, and so the sound for avoir is ils ont, elles ont. Okay, but then for être, it's ils sont, elles sont. So actually, this uh, first sound, I mean, this, this s, is the, the the only way to 
uh, dissociate uh, ed from avoir uh, for il and elle. Okay, so don't be afraid to pronounce this s uh, quite strongly. Okay, so let's do it again. Ils sont. Repeat. Elles sont. Repeat. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone and welcome to la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe avoir, a quite useful one. So avoir means to have. So let's start with the pronunciation. First form for je is j'ai. Repeat. J'ai. Second form for tu, it's tu as. Repeat. Tu as. Okay. Third form, il and elle, so masculine. Il a. Repeat. Il a. Feminine form, elle. Elle a. Repeat. L A Then come the form for nous Nous avons So you can notice that there is a small link be between this S and A That's what we call the, la liaison So you get to put this small link So it's like Z Nous avons Repeat Nous avons and then for vous, same thing, vous avez. Repeat. Vous avez. Okay. And last but not least, il, masculine form, ils ont. Same thing, small link, la liaison. Ils ont. Repeat. Ils ont. Okay. And then feminine form, elle. Same thing. Elles ont. Repeat. Elles ont. Okay. Just before leaving you, actually keep in mind that uh, this liaison, this link, is actually quite soft. It not, it's not really strong. And uh, it's especially important for this uh, last part, ils ont and elles ont, because if you make it stronger and too strong, it would sound like ils sont. And in this case, be careful because it's the verb être, to be, okay? So keep in mind that it's really light and it's like zzz, ils ont, elles ont, okay? Repeat one last time for the pleasure. Ils ont, repeat, okay? And elles ont, repeat. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. So in this, uh, lesson we will focus on uh, le verbe aller so a quite important verb actually because we can use it quite easily because aller means to go and then we use aller as well for the future proche that we will see a bit later okay so let's start now je vais repeat je vais Tu vas. Repeat. Tu vas. Il va. Elle va. Repeat. Il va. Elle va. Nous allons. So you can notice the liaison between S and A. Nous allons. Repeat. Nous allons. Vous allez. So the same thing, the liaison between S and A. Vous allez. Repeat. Vous allez. Ils vont. Elles vont. Repeat. Ils vont. Elles vont. Okay, so 
I do hope everything is clear now. As I said, <laughs> all the time, don't be afraid to watch the video again and again to be sure that you know these verbs by heart. Okay, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour pour la, la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe s'appeler. So s'appeler is quite important because, uh, well that's the verb you're using when you want to introduce the name of someone and it's uh, quite useful and quite tricky in a way because it does belong to this uh, family of, of verbs that we call les verbes pronominaux or then uh, les verbes réfléchis. Um, so we'll see how, how it does work. Uh, you will see now let's go okay so first form for je it's je m'appelle okay so that's the particularity of these verbs so you've got to add something and usually for the first form it's me but then as you've got this voyal you know for the verb appeler e uh, disappears and you get this je m'appelle repeat Okay, second form, uh, well, same thing, okay, but then usually for tu, the form is tu, te, and then something in here. We're starting with vo voyal, so uh, it's the same thing as previously, a uh, disappears, so we, we get this tu t'appelles, okay, final s is not pronounced, tu t'appelles, repeat. Okay, and then come il and l, so masculine form il, so usually for il or for l, third person of the singular, you get this se, okay, s -e, but then as previously we are starting with a voyal a, so a disappears and you get this il s'appelle, repeat il s'appelle okay and then the feminine form elle s'appelle repeat elle s'appelle okay and then for nous so some of the students and some of my students find it quite strange but then that's the that's the form for these uh, verbal pronominaux you've got to repeat uh, nous again so you get this nous nous and then Appelons, okay. Keep in mind and try to remember that for this form, uh, you've got only one L. You know, if you compare it to je, tu, il, l, you can see that for nous, you know, this uh, L there is only one, okay. So let's pronounce it together and just put some liaison. Nous nous appelons. Repeat. Nous nous appelons. Okay, so you can notice that the pronunciation is a bit different for the verb. It's appelons, okay, because there is only one L there. Nous nous appelons. So repeat. Okay, all right. So next, it's a bit the same concept uh, actually. So you get to repeat vous again, and then you get this vous vous appelez. Okay, same thing, only one L. Vous vous appelez. Okay. Repeat. All right, and finally, so il pluriel uh, masculine form and l, uh, you get uh, this il s'appelle. All right, so that's the same concept. Usually, you should have se, but then I starting with a voyal, so uh, is disappearing, and you get this il s'appelle. Repeat. Okay, il s'appelle. All right, and then elle, elle s'appelle. Repeat, elle s'appelle. Okay, so if you noticed, actually between this il and elle, so the plural form and then the singular form, it's uh, actually it's the same form. So uh, if you only listen to them, to them, it's the the same pronunciation. Okay, il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. Repeat. Okay, so let's hope everything is clear now. Don't be afraid to watch it again and again. All right, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour tout le monde, c'est la leçon du jour. So today we will uh, see uh, le verbe faire. So faire means to do, and it's a quite useful verb and also a bit tricky. You will see why. So now we can start. 
So first form for je, it's je fais. Okay, so final S is not pronounced. Je fais. Repeat. Je fais. Okay. Second form, tu fais. So same form, same pronunciation, the final S is not pronounced. Tu fais. Repeat. Tu fais. Okay. And then comes il masculine and elle feminine. So il fait. Same pronunciation, so final T is not pronounced. Il fait. Repeat. Il fait. Okay, and then feminine form, elle fait. So same thing, final T is not pronounced. Elle fait, repeat. Elle fait. Okay, then comes nous. Nous faisons. So here it's quite tricky because actually we write it R E, faisons, but then we pronounce it faisons. Okay, and then final S is not pronounced. So nous faisons. Repeat. Nous faisons. Okay. So here come the strange form. Uh, logically, we could put this vous faisiez, but then no, it's vous faites. Okay. Keep in mind that final s is not pronounced. Vous faites. Okay. Repeat. Vous faites. All right. And then fin finally. So, il masculine and elle feminine. Uh, il font. Okay, so you've got this uh, nasal on, on. Okay, and then the final T is not pronounced. So, il font. Repeat. Okay, and then feminine form. Elle font. Same thing. On, on, and then final T is not pronounced. Okay, elle font. Repeat. Elle font. Okay, so that's it for today. Don't be afraid to watch it again and again to be sure that you know and you master the verb faire. Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to La Leçon du Jour. So today we will try to see one important verb, it's uh, partir. Okay, so partir is to leave. Uh, quite usually we, we, we saw the noun, it's uh, départ, le départ, okay, in an airport for example. Okay, but now it's the verb partir. So let's start with the first form. First person of the singular is je, and then we get this je pars. Okay, so it's uh, ending with a s, but then we don't pronounce it, so je pars. Repeat. Je pars. Okay, and then for two we've got this tu pars. So second person tu, tu pars. Repeat. Okay, so it's the same form as you noticed. Okay, it ends with a S but we don't pronounce it. Okay, and then il, elle, il pars. Repeat. Il pars. And then elle, elle pars. Repeat. Elle part. All right. So, well, as usual, not all the time, but quite often, we've got the same form for je, tu, il, and elle. I mean, the same form, the form you will pronounce. Okay. So for je, it's par, tu, par, il, par, elle, par. Okay. But keep in mind that, of course, you've got to write the final s for je and tu, and then the final t for in, il, and elle. Okay. So let's see nous now. So first person of the plural, it's nous, and then we get nous partons. Repeat, nous partons. Okay, so final s is not pronounced as usual, so you only need to pronounce at the end this uh, nasal. So o n on on on. All right, nous partons. Repeat. Okay, second person of the plural, it's vous, and then we have vous partez. Repeat, vous. Parte. Okay, so remember that this final EZ, okay, give you the sound E, E, E. Alright, so it's vous partez. Repeat. Okay. And last but not least, third person of the plural. And as usual, we've got, we've got il and elle, so uh, let's start with il. Il part. Repeat. 
ils partent. Ok, and then keep in mind that it's a bit tricky and it's a bit strange, but the final e and t is not pronounced. Ok, it only gives you the possibility to pronounce the the t just before, so you get the sound part, part. Ok, so il part. All right, and then same form for l, l part. Repeat, l part. Ok, so je pars. Tu pars, il part, elle part, nous partons, vous partez, ils partent, elles partent. Hope everything is clear now. Have a nice day. Don't be afraid to watch the video again. Ok, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. So welcome in the French lesson of the day and today we'll see le verbe pouvoir. So a quite useful verb because it does mean to can. So let's see how it goes now. So for the first person, je, it's je peux. Repeat, je peux. So actually you don't pronounce the final X. Second person, tu, tu peux. So you can see that it's exactly the same way of writing it and exactly the same of pronouncing it. You don't pronounce the final X. So it's je, tu, peux. Okay, so let's see how il goes. Il peut. All right, so same way of pronunciation. You've got a T at the end, but then you don't pronounce it. Il peut. Okay. Elle, feminine form, third person of the singular, and it's the same way. Elle peut. Repeat. Elle peut. Okay, so let's see how it goes for the plural. And then be careful because for nous, it's changing a little bit. Nous pouvons. Okay, so you write this O U and you pronounce it OU, okay, so if you combine it you nous pouvons, okay, you don't pronounce the final S. Nous pouvons. Repeat. Nous pouvons. Okay? So for vous it's a little bit the same. It's vous pouvez. Okay, so you keep this P O U V, but then you put the ending for vous. The classical ending is a Z, okay, you combine it, vous pouvez, repeat, vous pouvez, okay, for il au pluriel, then you get il peuvent, repeat, il peuvent, okay, so as usual you get this e n t at the end, but then you don't pronounce it, you only pronounce il peuvent, okay, and well last but not least, l and it's actually the same form as it was for il, elle, peuve. So the same rule, final e and t is not pronounced, so you get elle, peuve. Okay, so let's see again how it goes. Repeat, je peux, tu peux, il peut, elle peut, nous pouvons, vous pouvez, ils peuvent, elles peuvent. Ok, I hope it was clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch the video again and again. Have a nice day. Au revoir, bye bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone. And welcome to la leçon du jour. So how about uh, learning a useful verb today? So the verb is prendre. And prendre means to take. Ok, so let's start and have a look at the forms. So the first person of the singular, je, it's je prends. Repeat. Je prends. Ok, so you can see that we've got uh, S at the end and then D as well, but then we don't pronounce them. So actually the only thing we will pronounce for this form is P-R-E-N and it's the sound prend. Ok, repeat. Ok. And for tu, so it's tu Prends. Repeat. Tu prends. And you can notice it's it's actually the same same form as for uh, for je. Okay. So final s and then the d before you don't pronounce them. Okay. Il and elle. So masculine il. We get il prend. Okay. So same pronunciation. Final d is not pronounced. So it's only the p r e n prend. Okay. Repeat. Il prend. Okay. And then elle. Repeat. Elle prend. Okay, so just you can notice that je 
tu, il and elle are just pronounced the same way. Je prends, tu prends, il prend, elle prend. Okay, but uh, remember to put the final S for je and tu. Alright, so let's have a look now with the nous first person of the plural. It's nous prenons. Okay, and keep in mind that E is pronounced like E. Pre, pre. Okay, nous prenons. Repeat. Nous prenons. Yeah, that's it. Second person, it's vous, and then we get vous prenez. Repeat. Vous prenez. Okay, so actually for nous and vous, we've got the classical endings. Okay, so for nous, usually it's O-N-S, and then for vous, it's usually a Z. Okay, so nothing really special for this form. Okay, and then finally, il and elle are the plural form, so il Prenne, repeat. Il prenne. Okay, so you can notice that the first e of prenne is pronounced like e e, and the reason for that is that you you've got a double n after that, so it changes the pronunciation of the e. Okay, so that's the reason why you've got il prenne. Repeat. Il Okay, and keep in mind that, as usual for this third person of the plural, this ENT, the final one, is not pronounced, okay? So for L, we've got L PREN. Repeat. L PREN. Okay, so let's see one more time. JE PRENDS. Repeat. TU PRENDS. IL PRENDS. ELLE PRENDS. Nous prenons, vous prenez, ils prennent, elles prennent. All right, so let's hope everything is clear. If it's not clear, then you know how it works. Just watch the video again and again. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Uh, welcome everyone. This is la leçon du jour, and today we will see uh, le verbe savoir. So savoir is quite useful because it does mean to know. Okay, so let's start with the first form. First person of the singer, it's je, and then we get the form je sais. Repeat, je sais. Okay, so you can see that we've got a final S, but as usual we don't pronounce it, so it's je sais. All right. Second form, it's tu sais. Okay, so actually the same form, tu sais. Repeat. Okay, third person of the singer, il and elle, and what a surprise! Uh, same form, il sait. Repeat. Elle sait. Repeat. Okay, so as not usual, but in many cases for je, tu, il, and elle, we've got the same form that you, you have to pronounce, so it's se, okay? But then keep in mind that it ends with s for je and tu, and it ends with t for il and elle, okay? So have a look at the first person of the plural. Now it's nous, and then we we'll get this nous savons. Repeat. Nous savons. Okay, final S not pronounced as usual, so you get the final on. Okay, that's the sound you get at the end. Nous savons. All right. So now vous, and then we get this vous savez. Repeat. Vous savez. Okay. Keep in mind that this ending a z, okay, is pronounced like e e. Okay. Vous savez. Repeat. Okay, and last but not least, the plural form, so third person of the plural, so it's il masculine, elle feminine, so let's start with il. Il save. Repeat. Il save. Okay, so keep in mind that e and t, okay, the ending is not, is not pronounced, so it's only save. V, 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 v. It ends with the sound v. Okay, il save. Repeat. Okay, and the same form for elle, elle save. Repeat. Elle save. Okay, so let's see again. Je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait, nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, elles savent. 
and I do hope that now you know this form and this verb so if it's not really clear don't be afraid to watch the video one more time okay have a nice day bye bye Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to La Leçon du Jour and today we will see the verb uh, venir, so venir means to come, so it's quite useful and we use it quite often, so let's start with the first form, first person of the singular it's je, and then the form we get is je viens, repeat, je viens, okay, so you can notice that it's ending with s but we don't pronounce it, so we actually only pronounce v, so the V and then the ya ya ya, okay? So let's combine them and we get viens. Repeat. Je viens, okay? Second person, it's tu, and then we get actually the same sound. Tu viens. Repeat. Tu viens, okay? Third person of the singer, it's il masculin, elle féminin. So the masculine form, it's il vient. Repeat. Il vient, okay, final T is not pronounced, so you get the same form as for je and tu, alright? And then elle, it's the same thing, elle vient, repeat, elle vient, okay? So, je, tu, il and elle are actually pronounced the same way, okay? But then je and tu is ending with a S, and then il and elle, the same form is ending with a Okay, so let's see nous. First person of the plural, it's nous, and then we get this nous venons. Okay, keep in mind that e is pronounced like e, so it's the, 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 venons. Final s is not pronounced. Okay, nous venons. Repeat, nous venons. Okay, second person of the plural, it's vous, and then we get the sound vous venez. Repeat. Vous venez, okay? If you look at the form, so it's ending with a Z, okay? But then when these two letters are co are combined like that, you get the sound E, okay? So it's venez, repeat. Vous venez, okay? And then let's finish with the third person of the plural. So masculine, il, okay? So you get this, il viennent. Repeat. Il vient. Okay, so if you notice, actually, the first e uh, is pronounced like e e e. Okay, it's vie vie vien. Repeat. Vien. Okay, so it's pronounced like that just because you've got a double n right after it, so it opens the pronunciation of the e. Uh, so it's e. Okay, vien. All right, and the final. A uh, n t is not pronounced, so it's il vien. Repeat. Okay. Same thing for l, so same form. L vien. Repeat. L vien. Okay. So let's say again one more time. It's je viens, tu viens, il vient, elle vient, nous venons, vous venez, ils viennent, and elles viennent. I hope everything is clear for you. Okay, don't be afraid to watch it one more time, as the French say. Uh, have a nice day, okay, and uh, and have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, bonjour à tous, and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will see a quite useful verb. It's the verb vouloir. Vouloir means to want. Okay, so I'm really sure you want to learn this verb. Let's start with the first person from the singular, and it's je, okay? And the form we get is je veux. Repeat. Je veux, okay? So you can see that the final X is not pronounced, okay? It's je veux. E, je veux, all right? Second person, it's tu veux, and you can notice that it's actually the same form, so same pronunciation, it's tu veux. Repeat. Tu veux. Okay. Third person, it's il and elle. So masculine is il. Il veut. Repeat. Il veut. Okay. So you can see that final T is not pronounced. So it's actually the same pronunciation as we had for je and tu. Okay. So repeat. Il veut. Okay. Elle. Well, you can see that it's the same pronunciation. So it's elle veut. Repeat. Elle 
the. Okay, so je, tu, il, and l are just pronounced the same way, okay, and the sound is v, okay, but keep in mind that for je and tu, you get to put x at the end, and then for il and l, you get to put t at the end, okay? So, now for nous, first person of the plural, so it's nous voulons, okay, final s is not pronounced, nous voulons, repeat. Okay, second person it's vous voulez, repeat, vous voulez, all right, so actually quite classical endings, you know, for nous it's O-N-S and for vous it's E-Z, okay, and keep in mind that it's vous voulez form, E-Z, when you combine them, especially with the verbs at the endings, it sounds like E, okay, so it's vous voulez, okay, so don't pronounce the Z, okay, and then last but not least, third person of the plural, so it's il, masculine, elle, feminine, so let's start with il, and then we get this il veulent, all right, so uh, it's not so deep, actually, it's quite open, it's veulent, veulent, okay, the final e and t is not pronounced, okay, so actually you only pronounce this v, E, U, L, and quite light, okay, so it's il vol. Repeat. Il vol. Okay. Same form. L vol. Repeat. L vol. Okay, so let's see that again before leaving you. Je veux, tu veux, il veut, elle veut. So actually the same form. Nous voulons, vous voulez. Ils veulent, elles veulent. Okay? I do hope everything is clear for you. If it's not, don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day.